Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Melissa Cowley Wolf. Hank mentioned the um, talk last night with Swizz Beats and Kehende Wiley. And as I said to Eddie, my favorite part is as people were leaving, Swizz called them out. And I said, I want to do that. <laughs> this is such a hectic moment. This is such a hectic week. And we're really grateful that you're spending this much time with us. We've asked, um, we've had a long program. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, my name is Melissa Wolf. I'm the director of the Arts Funders Forum. I want to thank you all for being here today during this busy week. And the fact that you're in this room means that you understand the unique moment that we're in culturally and in our history. I would like to thank Alberto and Victoria and our colleagues at the Knight Foundation for their support and their partnership on this. Thank you. And I would like to thank Sean McManus and Brett Dobbs at M plus D for um, inviting me in to partner with you on this. It's been a dream to work with you and I'm excited for the next phase. And I would like to thank all of our speakers and our musicians. who were here with us today to illuminate um, um, us on these topics, their expertise, their advice, their experience, and they represented just a few of the topics that came out of the Arts Funders Forum research that you saw at the beginning of the presentation. And I think um, what we presented shows um, that this community wants to develop new partnerships. We want to better connect the arts to social impact, and we want and need to develop a new narrative that around what the arts can play and the importance of the arts in our society. This is absolutely crucial, and as the research shows, time is of the essence to do this. We're not moving forward? Oh, there we go. So let's zoom out for just a second before we close and put what you've heard in context. Overall charitable giving in the United States is going up. This is fantastic. 2018 was the second consecutive year that total charitable giving in the United States exceeded $400 billion. However, as Eddie mentioned at the beginning with regards to individual giving, overall giving is growing, but giving to our sector has remained virtually stagnant and when adjusted for inflation has actually decreased. So in 2017, uh, arts and culture represented $20 billion out of $400 billion in 2018, and the reports recently came out, we were 20 billion of 428 billion. So clearly the trends are going in the wrong direction. And all of this is happening, as we've talked about, while we're undergoing a massive generational shift in this country, which could completely remake the industry. We're undergoing the largest transfer of wealth that's ever happened in the history of the country, and the generation that is inheriting this wealth is not engaged in the arts in the way that we need them to be in order to reverse these trends. So, as we've said, it's an incredible challenge, but an incredible opportunity. And we believe that we need to reframe the narrative and develop new vehicles for funding. And I think all of the speakers up here today have clearly demonstrated that there's a need for a platform, there's a need to host a conversation that's gonna drive us to change. So, what is this going to require? This is gonna require that we develop a community of cultural philanthropists. In this room, we wanna harness the interest, the expertise, and the energy that exists here in this city right now and throughout the United States and the world, harness it to be able to move us forward. This is also gonna involve a continuing to report on trends in cultural philanthropy. We're gonna to continue to survey on what is needed and what is happening, and we're gonna report out the activities of people such as yourselves who are leaders and experts and donors in this field who are rethinking a lot of these issues to address these changes and these trends. We're gonna continue connecting new funders with funding opportunities in order to bring a new generation into the fold and help them navigate the cultural landscape. And last but certainly not least, communicating the importance of arts and culture in society. And we all have a role to play here. So, to close this out, we hope that you will part, what you've heard today will encourage you to partner with us, and I want to talk about where we go from here. We are developing a multi-channel platform, some, one that includes live events, including regional forums such as this, 
and a large-scale conference for 2020, so stay tuned, a digital resource for thought leadership and research. We want to do matchmaking between the art sector and the next generation of funders, and eventually, we dream of an international membership organization and potentially a social impact venture fund. In this room, all of us, there's the expertise, there's the leadership to inspire the changes that we need in how we think about and pursue arts funding in this country. And in order to accomplish this, here's what we propose for us to come together. We are looking for you to be our investors and our partners. For those of you that are philanthropists and funders in the room, you are the role models. Your ability to inspire change is greater than you think it is. We see this every day through the stories and that we hear out of our community. We invite you to partner with us as founding members to engage more people in this conversation. And if you're in this room and you're not already a philanthropist or a supporter of the arts, let us know and we will help you, we will advise you, we will point you in the right direction. If you wanna connect with people you saw on stage, We'll help you with that as well. And as Sean mentioned, there are many who are not in this room. I think that's the elephant in the room who's not in this room. We need new people in this conversation. We need new supporters, we need new ideas. This is the launch of this, this is the beginning. I hope you'll feel empowered to bring people into this conversation who haven't necessarily thought about it and who are brand new to it. We need thought partners in this in this platform to help shape new narratives around arts funding. So those of you that are cultural leaders and represent cultural organizations in the room, we want to talk with you about how these new trends are changing your fundraising practices. How are you rethinking and reframing your advancement strategies for your institutions? How are you as an artist thinking about how you change the way you fundraise and support your practice given what's happening with the demographics and the shifts in funding? And you know, I think, more than most how hard this work is. You know that if you work for an organization, if you are fundraising, if you are tasked with telling that story to the community, you know that we're confronting a crisis. You know that we're in a unique moment. And we want to talk with you and discuss how do we respond and reshape those outdated models of fundraising to appeal to this new generation. And lastly, we want ambassadors to inspire that next generation. All of us in this room have the opportunity, if not the responsibility, to be ambassadors for the arts and culture sector. And the fact that you're here today means that you understand the value of this discussion and this critical moment that we're in. So we invite you to partner with us. We're thrilled that you're here. You can get in touch with us at this email address on the website. Directly, some of you have our information. We'll be around at the reception. And it's Basel, so it's time to party. So we invite you up to the roof. We thank you for being here. We'll have a party and a DJ on the roof. For those of you who want to take a tour of this facility, New World has generously offered to give tours to people who want to see this great space. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful week. We look forward to continuing the conversation.